Now, in the backdrop of the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war, all eyes are on the Black Sea grain deal, which is scheduled to expire on Monday, July 17. The deal, which was brokered by the United Nations and to Kiev in 2022, currently rests on Russia's shoulders as time runs out. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February last year led to stockpiles of Ukrainian supply of grain being blocked from exports. The conflict put global demand of food grade in danger, particularly for European and Asian and even African countries. This is what Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had said about the blockade in June last year. Eventually, through negotiations, the Black Sea grain deal allowed Ukraine to export its grain amid a wartime blockade. The move has helped keep global food prices stable for the past one year. This in spite of Moscow repeatedly threatening to pull out of the deal. Now, as the deadline comes closer, the last grain ship left from Ukraine's port of Odessa on Sunday, a day before the deal is set to expire. The arrangement has so far allowed Ukraine to export more than 32 million metric tons of grain. So far, Putin has not issued an official decision on the fate of this deal. But a series of meetings and discussions have been held by the Russian president. Putin had earlier held a phone call with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on Saturday, in which they discussed the former's contention that the objective of the deal had not been met. Now, according to a statement issued by the Kremlin, the main goal of the deal, namely the supply of grain to countries in need, including on the African continent, has not been implemented when the deal had been negotiated. An agreement was also signed on food and fertilizer exports from Russia. But the country says that obstacles to its own exports remain. This after Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, issued a statement on Friday suggesting the possible extension of the deal. Benim de biliyorsunuz Sayın Putin'i Ağustos ayı içerisinde Türkiye'de misafir etme hazırlığımız var. Ve bu Karadeniz Tahıl koridorunun uzatılması konusunda hem fikiriz. Birleşmiş Milletler'den de Sayın Guterres zaten Moscow's reservations control the fate of the grain deal, which currently seems to hang in the balance. As time ticks away, leaders across the world wait with bated breath to see what Vladimir Putin's verdict will be. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.